guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week has been one of those annoying weeks where I keep trying to film a video and I either don't like the footage or the lighting is off or the camera stopped recording and I didn't notice it. So anyway, I was going to take this weekend off because I was like, you know what? The mojo is not there. Let's just take a little break and let's just get back into it next week. But as I was sort of cleaning up around the house, I came across a bag of empties that I've been collecting and kind of forgot about and thought, you know what, that's an easy video to record. I don't have to look fancy for it. I'm not doing a tutorial. We can just kind of sit and chat and do a casual video. So that's what I thought I would do today, my very first empties video. So if you're interested in seeing what I've gone through and my kind of end-all be-all thoughts on a lot of products, then just keep on watching. <laughs> Alright, so my empties. I I don't know if I should put these in order or if I should, I'm just going to go in and grab out of the bag, which is next to it. Um, and I've got some kind of random stuff in here, but I thought that I would talk about these because these are um, gummy vitamins that I have been absolutely loving. I hate vitamins. So these are the Oli, O-L-L-Y, I don't know if you can see, oh here, it's actually printed on this side of the lid. And these are the women's multivitamins, and then I also got the purely probiotic gummies. These are awesome, I got them at Target, they are so good, they're literally like candy. Can't taste the bite, that weird kind of vitamin-y smell um, or taste, you can't smell or taste that at all. I absolutely love these, I've gone through... Quite a few, and I thought I would include it um, in this video because I feel like nutrition is probably the biggest part of anyone's beauty routine, and it's kind of not talked about enough. So anyway, love those. If you are into uh, gummy vitamins, those are the best, by far. Um, I also have a whole bunch of cleansing wipes in here. So what do I have? I have these crappy ones that I got at Marshalls. They're like a no-name brand. Terrible. I do love the e.l.f. wipes, and I pretty much just use wipes to wipe off the back of my hand when I do swatches or my arm or whatever, whenever I'm doing swatches. These are awesome, and they're really, really well-priced, and I always kind of get them on sale. So there's 20 in this pack, and yeah, I think, I think most people love the e.l.f. wipes. So I have three of those. And I also had a whole bunch of these Clinique Take the Day Off wipes. I think these were like a Sephora point reward, like they were 100 points or something. So I got a whole bunch of them. These are not great either. In fact, I think I took them on a trip and I thought, let me use them actually to take off makeup. Completely ineffectual and not very good at taking off swatches. They're just not great And I don't mind the take the day off cleansing balm, which I actually have in here also, but the wipes not good Not another vitamin um, And then here's the Clinique take the day off balm. This is okay. Um, it's a pretty good cleanser It left a little bit. I felt like it left a little bit of a residue on my skin So definitely not my favorite balm, but it's fine. I can't say that I have any sort of like negative points to make about it. Just, I don't know, I probably won't repurchase because, I don't know, I feel like there are better ones out there or ones that I feel a little bit more strongly about. Um, so this is okay, but not my favorite. So here is the Lancome by Facile Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. This is, uh, this is good. I like this. Um, I don't wear a lot of waterproof eye makeup, so I don't need a cleanser like this too often, but when I did, this definitely came in really handy. I think I'll probably repurchase this when I feel like I, I need to. And then I have the Kogendo um, Cleansing Spa Water. This is hands down my favorite makeup remover. I absolutely love it. It takes off my makeup like with one swipe. I don't have to kind of rub or go over it. I don't have to hold it down for too long. And it leaves my skin feeling so soft. On those nights when I'm feeling super lazy and I just use this and I pass out, I don't moisturize, I don't do anything else. I wake up and my skin feels like super soft and clean. I don't have any sort of residual regrets sitting on my face. This is the best. I absolutely love it. Which leads me to this. I'm not even going to finish it. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water All-in-One 
removes makeup, even waterproof mascara. It's the one that you have to shake up, it like separates. Um, I, I think it's awful. It didn't really remove my makeup that well. Um, it felt a little bit, not gritty, but it, it irritated my eyes a little bit. Um, yeah, not a fan, so I'm not even going to finish this. I'm just going to toss it. Uh, here's another cleanser that I finished. This is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I love this cleanser. I will probably repurchase this at some point, but I have so many cleansers that I'm trying to go through um, that I'm not going to repurchase this right away. But I really love this. In the mornings, I like to wash my face with like, you know, a cleanser and water to sort of like refresh my skin and kind of wake me up a little bit. And this is like perfect for that. I don't think it's the best makeup remover. I know that they market this like if you don't have any waterproof makeup on you should be able to rub this on dry skin and remove all of your makeup. It removes most of it but it's definitely not the best at that so I like this as like a morning cleanser. This cleanser I love. This is the Tata Harper Regenerating Cleanser. It's a daily exfoliating and clarifying treatment. Uh, because I have really sensitive skin, I can only exfoliate with like a physical, like gritty exfoliator. I can't use any any kind of like acids. My eczema comes out. I get red blotches. It's not pretty. So um, this has like the little grits in there, and it's also like a really citrusy scent, which is my favorite. It's totally refreshing. Um, this is the smaller size. There's a bigger bottle, which I actually have because um, I repurchased this already and I absolutely love it. My, the only downside to this, I love that it has a pump, but this pump, I don't know if you can see, this is the tiniest little opening ever and you just sit there and you pump and you pump and finally it just stops working. So for about half of the bottle I had to untwist this and kind of like pour some out and use it that way. The bigger size has a bigger plastic pump which is better but it's still not perfect. Not enough product comes out because it's a cleanser. It's like, it comes out almost like the amount that you would use like a serum or an oil. It's like this little spittle of, of product and it's not great. Other than that, I love the bottle. <laughs> it's wonderful. Um, and the product is actually amazing. And it's something I use maybe once or twice a week. It cleans my skin, but it doesn't leave it dry. It's just, it's wonderful. Love that cleanser. So for toner, I used up my La Mer The Tonic. <laughs> it's that's, it like, it looks pink. And I really, really love this toner. I'm, you know, I'm not so sure if I actually feel like toner is necessary during the skincare sort of routine, but occasionally I just feel like maybe I'm using a, a cleansing balm that leaves a little bit of residue, or I just had a really kind of extra special sweaty day, and I just, you know, I really want to use this around my T-zone or something. And this toner from La Mer is so amazing. It really feels like you're really freshening up your skin without it feeling tight or dry in any way. But it's also, it's not like it's moisturizing in any way either. So I definitely will be repurchasing this in the future. However, I have some other toners that I'm working through. I bought like a Lancome toner, um, which is okay. You'll probably see that in my next empties. Um, but this one is awesome. It's awesome. And it's... Uh, it's so expensive for a toner, but I really love it. My husband loves it too, so I will probably be repurchasing that soon. Oh, another e.l.f. wipe. And then I went through some moisturizers. So I bought the Glossier, the Priming Moisturizer Rich. I really, really loved this moisturizer when I first got it. It's a perfect like day cream underneath your makeup or underneath your primer. It just has the most perfect texture. However, there is either an ingredient or the fragrance, which is heavily lavender fragranced, really bothered my skin after a while. So after about, I want to say three weeks of using it, like every, um, every day, I started to see kind of like, I get these like red kind of shapeless spots. And I know that that basically means my eczema is coming out. There's also an ingredient in here which I think may bother my skin as well and it's red algae. I don't know if it's that in the Glossier that bugs me or the lavender fragrance which I definitely have a sensitivity to. So I recommend this if you don't have allergies or sensitivities to either of those things and I actually finished up this jar by using it on my body. So anyway I do like it very very much but I'm not going to be I'm not going to be repurchasing this. Uh, what I did use up and have already purchased is repurchased is the La Mer Moisturizing Soft Lotion. This is my jam. I use it or can use it day and night. I try not to use it day and night. I definitely use it every night. 
Um, daytime, sometimes if I feel like my skin is extra dry, I'll use this, um, but I try not to use it both just because it's expensive and I don't want to like blow through it. Um, but I love this. It's, it's just so good. I'm, I'm a La Mer girl, so love this soft lotion. Oh, so I also have, I forgot about this, the Glossier Super Bounce. This is one of their serums, and this is the one with the hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5. I, I liked this serum. It felt very nice on the skin, but I don't feel like it actually, like, did anything. I don't feel like my skin changed uh, for the better. De definitely didn't change for the worse, but it didn't change for the better. I don't feel like it improved my skin. So I don't think I'll be repurchasing this. Um, I think if you're sort of part of the target audience for Glossier, if you're much younger than I am, um, I think this will probably work for you. I think it'll probably be great and be really, really moisturizing. But for me, I need like bigger guns. So um, this was lovely, but not for me. So I won't be repurchasing this. And then this is the La Prairie Cellular Swiss Crystal Eye Cream. So this was like a deluxe sample, but because this stuff is so expensive, I was like, this is worth talking about. So this eye cream is hands down the best eye cream I have ever used. Um, it also is like the same price as a mortgage payment. So I don't know that I'll be repurchasing this anytime soon, but if for some reason I get gift cards or I win the lottery um, or some nice salesperson decides to throw a huge sample of this into my bag, I definitely will be using it. Um, but it is absolutely wonderful. It's like I saw a difference the next day. The change that I saw underneath my eyes didn't sort of dissipate as I used it, which happens a lot. I feel like for me with skincare, you kind of see like an immediate improvement and then it just sort of like your skin just kind of grows immune to it. This just kept my under eyes really like plump and um, healthy looking and it was just great. And I'm so susceptible to Amelia and other things. This didn't cause that either. So if I can, I'm gonna repurchase this, but we'll see. So just a few makeup things that I actually, well, I didn't really get through, but they're kind of old. So the Kogendo Aqua Foundation, um, I've already repurchased a new bottle of this. This is um, pretty far down. You can see I've used it definitely through there. It's probably, it's probably, I don't know, three quarters of the way used. Anyway, love this foundation, have already repurchased it. I have it in shade one, two, three, love it. And this is my Glossier Skin Tint. This went bad as well, and I've already repurchased this um, because I, actually I'm wearing it today, um, because I just love this sort of super, this is like the lightest coverage um, foundation or like tinted moisturizer that I have. So anyway, had to keep it in my collection, have already repurchased it, really, really love it. Um, but this, this went bad. Um, I have a bunch of mascaras in here. The Tarte Lifted, I really like, but this went bad pretty quickly. So this is definitely not done, but it dried up really, really fast. And so the last few times I put this on, it was just like flaking off. So enough of that. And um, I've been kind of using both of these like deluxe sample sizes of the Too Faced Better Than Sex, which I really love. These are definitely done. And the Benefit Roller Lash um, I use. This is too old. I don't think there's I don't there's much left in here anyway. Um, and this was okay. Yeah, this was one of those random products. I don't have anything bad to say, but I also don't have anything good to say about this. Will I repurchase any of these? I don't know. You know, I'm not the biggest like eyelash person. I don't really like using mascaras, and I kind of avoid it on the everyday. And I have so many so many mascara like deluxe samples they seem to just give those away like they're going out of style so i have an entire like makeup bag full of other mascaras to try so if i were to repurchase any of these i did like the tarte lifted mascara a lot but i was a little bit disappointed about how like bad or dried up it got so quickly anyway um so i don't know i don't think i'll repurchase that if anything i'll repurchase the Too faced better than sex um, which I like the most out of these. For makeup, um, I have some bath stuff. So this is my Dove um, body wash, which I love. Um, this is for the sensitive skin. I just, I don't know, I like the bottle and I like that it's a pump. Um, and the product itself is really nice. It's uh, moisturizing, uh, but it definitely feels like you're cleaning your skin. It doesn't feel too lotion-y, so I just love it. I've already repurchased 
this like 10 times over. I think I have a whole stockpile in my linen closet. Um, so I do love this. This is the St. Ives um, body wash. This one, this one was okay. Uh, nothing special. I feel like it dried out my skin a little bit. And this is the Renew and Purify Sea Salt and Pacific Kelp Exfoliating Body Wash. Um, I didn't actually, I don't remember if it had actual grits in there. I don't think so. Um, but it was okay. I don't think I'll be repurchasing this, at least not on purpose. You know, when it comes to body wash, sometimes I just see what's on sale and I'll just grab like a whole bunch of them. And then I got this, um, stress relief from Bath and Body Works. This is the Eucalyptus Spearmint Body Wash and Foam Bath. This was really nice. It's very, very eucalyptus spearmint scented. Very fresh. It smelled like the spa. But I have to say, this was a little bit pricey for Bath and Body Works. It was like 14 something dollars. So I am not going to be repurchasing this. I have a couple of body exfoliators. The Kiehl's Gently Exfoliating Body Scrub. Um, I have it in grapefruit. I love the scent. This exfoliator is, it's very uh, loose. It's, um, it's fine. It's not, I like exfoliators that are either really gritty, like in an oil, like a sea salt kind of thing, but this was, um, I don't know, it's just sort of too loose. Versus this exfoliator, which is from Rituals, it is the Organic White Lotus and Yi Yi Ren mild exfoliating body scrub. I love this. This smells so fresh. Um, the texture of the cream is thick enough that, you know, I feel like when I'm working it into the skin, it's not just sort of separating and rinsing away. It kind of stays put so I can kind of exfoliate um, for a little while. It's like more effective. Um, so I love this. And this is like a deluxe uh, sample size as well. And I got this in one of those Barney's Love Yourself um, gift bags. And so I have like three more of these. So I love this one. So I also have the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream or Boom Boom Cream. And um, it's okay. It actually, for me, because again, I have super dry skin, especially my body skin is super dry. Um, it is not the most moisturizing. At first it is, but by the end of the day, my legs have those scales on them already. So. Uh, not the best moisturizer for me, and the scent, while it does smell good, I don't like it as body lotion. I don't want the scent like all over me because it clashes with my perfume, which I happen to enjoy, which I, you know, purchased because I want to smell that way, not this way. Um, and I feel like this is um, just strong enough that it either is clashing with my perfume or it's just, I don't know, it's overbearing. So. You know, I, I mean, I, I get the hype around it because it does smell really nice, but I don't think it's for me. So I'm going to pass on that and not repurchase that. This, um, I just finished. This is the Clarins Moisture Rich Body Lotion, um, and it contains shea butter and it's for dry skin. This is another one. It's okay. Um, this actually moisturized a little bit better than the Boom Boom Cream. I didn't feel like my legs were quite as scaly at the end of the day, but... It's okay. The fragrance is light enough. Um, will I be repurchasing this? Probably not, um, because it didn't it didn't wow me in any way. This again, this is one of those products that's like mm, it's nice, but I really there are no like you know amazing points to this, but there also there's nothing bad about it either. But I probably won't be repurchasing this. At least I have some hair um, products that I worked through, so I finished up my Orbe signature shampoo and conditioner. God, these bottles are disgusting. I'm sorry. Shampoo and conditioner. Um, I, when I bought this, I was living in New York City and it was great. For some reason in New York, it was great. It worked out really, really well. When I moved here to Vegas, my hair just looked like it was static clingy all the time. And I realized I'm like, this is not the shampoo and conditioner for this particular climate. So I moved over to the shampoo for moisture control and this has been awesome. I mean my hair looks a lot flatter than it did um, living in New York but it does, there are no flyaways or less flyaways than before. So I actually just finished this um, this morning but I love this um, shampoo and conditioner um, pairing. I think I'm going to try the Gold Lust version of the Orbe. Um, and see how that is and if that doesn't work maybe I'll go back to this but I like kind of switching up my shampoo and conditioner 
just so my hair doesn't get bored. But I will probably repurchase this in the future because I do like it a lot. And then I worked through the... I think the company is GM Reverie. And this product is milk. So it's basically like lotion for your hair. I love this stuff. It smells... It smells very, uh, it's very unisex, so there's like a very, I think it's like a sandalwood kind of leather scent to this. It's just really nice, and it doesn't linger, you know, you can smell it a little bit, but it's not overbearing. Um, and it just leaves your hair just really, um, just really soft and natural, and yeah, I just love it. And I meant to order more of this, but they were out of stock, so when it's back in stock, which I think it is already, I think I'm going to purchase more. But in the meantime, I purchased the Alterna CC cream, like 10 in 1 leave-in cream, something like that. And that one's nice too, but this one I like much, much better. So when I'm done with that, I'm going to be repurchasing this. And then I just um, I missed this. I didn't even see this in the bottom of my bag. But this is um, a Cinema Secrets makeup brush cleaner. And um, it's one of those like spraying your brush and just, you know, wipe it off and it's all clean. Um, it's, it's okay. I think it's a great cleanser, but it has such an odd scent. I think it's supposed to be vanilla scented, but it's like vanilla on top of like the alcohol scent. So it really turned me off. So I purchased um, the Parian Spirit one, which has more of a citrus scent. I've also tried the Sephora spray, which I think has a citrus scent, if I remember correctly. Um, and those smell better, but I don't think they clean as well. So this I think is actually a better cleaner. Um, but I don't like the scent, uh, so I don't know if I'll be repurchasing this. I think if I can get over the scent, I will definitely repurchase this because it is a better cleaner, but we'll see. We'll see. This, I, I do recommend it though, if you don't mind kind of a weird vanilla alcohol scent. So that is it for my empties. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I can't wait to actually just throw all this stuff out and start anew. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you like empties videos. Please comment down below what your empties have been lately, if you agree or disagree with anything I just mentioned, and, and subscribe. Subscribe down below. I'll see you in my next video.